You people are sick. You people are sick and twisted. I can't believe some of the things I've been reading about my precious tunnel today. Fill the tunnel with oil and light it on fire. Fill the tunnel with IEDs and ditches and blow your enemies to pieces. All I wanted was a sweet, innocent tunnel filled with the rotting bodies of their enemies to the extent that it gives them a lung disease. What is wrong with you? Why have you got to ruin a good thing? It's time for another day here in our luxury dwarven mountain base. Wow, look at them. Look at them sleeping on the floor next to a bed. <laughs> <laughs> we're doomed. <laughs> things were slow at the start, but we finally got control of things. We can smell aloes. We can smell things. We can make cement. That's concrete, baby. The mine is in a better place. And in theory, I do need to test if we can actually start drilling again because it might be horribly bugged. In theory, that means we can get all the resources we're going to need for dwarf supremacy. My big goal is to get oil as soon as possible. Every single series, I have Rimmerfella or Rimatomics. They're always here too late. But this time around, there aren't any other mods that do similar things. We've got no other high power mod. We've got no other mod that allows us to get big access to Plastil or things like that that Rimmerfella will do. But what we do have this time is hundreds of people trying to horribly murder us as soon as possible. So we've got to try and get that research before we're wiped out, ideally. I'm going to throw down an ENIAC and we're going to see if we can get to the higher tier of research sooner. The only problem is I'm pretty sure that thing costs a good few thousand watts to run so bro i've been here 30 seconds how many 30 <laughs> oh god okay uh you've done it with your oh look at the little dryad friends oh this is nice what we're doomed we're actually gonna die will they fight one another maybe they'll just fight one another the filth waders Dirty, stinky little guys. All we've got to do is just get the research before we die. Little did I know that was going to be uh, five seconds later. They're fighting the... What are you doing? You just decided to firebomb some balls. As a strange man. We all love barbecue, but that's, that's weird. Look at how many sidecasters there are. Oh my god, they brought a massive dryad with them too. Look at that guy. Ah, shit. Petal. Hello. Ooh. What are you doing? They're trying to go through the limestone. So that's solid limestone. You're shooting it with bullets. You're going to be there for a while. Wow, this is going to be a hell of a fight. Are they going to turn around and fight the... Turn around, turn around, turn around. Turn around, fight the other faction. You know you want to. Oh, shit. I mean, look, if they're just going to stop like that, this gives us time to kill the first group, and then maybe the next group will filter through. Ooh. <laughs> I'm not sure I like World War Three breaking out on our front lawn within the first five minutes, but that's fine, I suppose. These things just happen sometimes, don't they? Well, they are like... They are just like laser focused on waiting for these people to come through. Now a few more are filtering. Oh my god, they, they might have helped us way more than they thought. Do we just, uh... You guys just want to go get breakfast? <laughs> just take a breather for a few minutes? This better not be another raid. Oh, drilling complete. Ooh, I thought you were loading in another raid then. Ah, oh, there we go. Just like a fresh... And, and that lines up to where it is on the... Oh, on the original map. Oh, honestly, that's a bit more convenient then. Okay, there we go. Fine. Uh, Bartskin's here. Lunchtime's over. Come back, come back, come back, come back, come back, come back. That was a little bit, a little bit, a little bit brave of me to send them away. Oh, I wasn't expecting them to come through in such a big group. Shit! Okay, we're fine. Just a few trees. Just a few angry little tree fellas. Nice. Good work. Smashy. Smashy, I need you to smash. Go. Oh, God, Smashy actually might come in handy here. Oh, they're fleeing, they're fleeing, they're fleeing. We're good. Is that the whole group that's fleeing? So they're going to turn around, whoever survived, and fight the the wasters? Oh, fight. Yes, fight. Well, maybe maybe they'll just die. Maybe it'll just be a, a load of bodies. Oh, God. Oh, no. <laughs> I mean, if you could do us a favor and try and not, like, totally kill one another so we can pick through the corpses, that'd be... That'd be fun. They're firebombing their own people. They are flashbanging their own people. This is one of the worst raids they've, they've come. This is one of the worst raids I've ever seen in my whole life. <laughs> they fought a fat jaguar. <laughs> and now they're gonna, are they gonna, you know, shoot at the, shoot at the door, break that down, which would take them all of 30 seconds, given it's just a flimsy wooden door. No, 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 they're gonna go through five layers of solid limestone into the kill box. Now you can take a break. For sure. You're shooting your own dog. What's wrong with you? Meanwhile, our people are just, just carrying on with the day. Just no problem, really, is there? All right, they're onto the last layer. I guess now we'll start drafting up and wait the hour for them to get through it. Oh, they're focusing fire a bit more now. They're getting through it at a bit more speed. Granted, it takes 30 seconds to rebuild the bloody thing. And hello there. Nope. Oh. 
You, you guys can you can just walk in, you know. Uh, some of them. <laughs> Man, maybe we should increase the difficulty because these people are clearly brain dead. Oh, what? You're going. What? You just came here to trash my kill box? Giving up and leaving. Well, we've done a good job today here, friends. Let's go. The rudeness. You just come up and smash my wall in my stinky tunnel of legend. And then you walk away. <laughs> heavy flamer. A heavy flamer against plant people. I feel like the whole squad's gonna go big in the flame weaponry. Because flame weaponry, look, that's gonna work against cataphracts to some extent. It's gonna work very well against all the plant people. Because genetically, they're all gonna be pyrophobic. This apparently also eventually unlocks plastic manufacturing. Which we can use as a replacement for... Uh, kind of steel and stuffables like that. We've finally got enough concrete, baby, to build a geothermal generator, but none of these convenient. They're on the friggin' beach. Okay, well, I guess we'll stick with that one then. Never mind. This is gonna be the only way we can really keep our... Keep our power on for a long time. But what do you mean? Underground... Oh, underground waterproof. No, no, no. I just wanted underground power conduits. Thank you. I'm gonna have to build an enormous wall around that. Maybe three or four limestone bricks deep, and then maybe a door for maintenance or something like that. Ooh, we could disguise it as our naturally occurring rock formation. They never suspect a thing. Ooh! We got dryads coming out of the goddamn trees, man. Okay, uh, oh, oh, bastard, 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 get out of there. Uh, send some friends. What happened to Bigger? Oh my god, he also, he also got attacked by a bloody dryad. Well, that was three that came out of that one tree. That's ridiculous. <laughs> okay. Um, we might need people on guard for whenever we're chopping down trees from now on. God, I just hate nature so much. Horrible, disgusting little creatures. Oh, shit. That's... That's not good. Oh, my God. That's a lot of bloody mechanoids. Um, well, I guess we'll take the uh, six standing dwarfs. And we'll hide in our kill box, but I feel like that termite is just going to go right through the wall, right? Shit. Okay, this could be a real... Oh, God. Okay, this is going to be a real problem then, huh? We're going to get absolutely shredded by those... By the scyther. Uh... Well... There goes nothing. Good luck, squad. Um, maybe we back off a little bit here. Get ready to hide in the mountain when things un uh, inevitably go horribly awry. Holy shit. Okay. Oh, I thought there were lancers. Oh, there is a lancer, but the other ones are militors. Ah, Smashy. Smashy, put your fucking shield on, you moron. Tolerable shield belts. No, don't shoot my wind turbines. Please, I haven't got any power. Oh, God. Okay, let's see if we can just keep Smashy hidden behind. Oh, hidden behind something. This is not, this is not a good situation. Smashy, uh, see if you can get out of there. I was trying to keep him covered behind that wind turbine, but in hindsight, I may have just got him killed. Shit. Nice. Okay, how many are left? We've got a pikeman, a lancer, a lancer. We've got the termite who's just shredding the power grid, for God's sake. The scythers are the things I'm really worried about. Forget the rest. How are you looking? Bleeding out in six hours, bleeding out in eight. Oh, God, okay. You two come forward. Let's keep Bastard and Crafty at the back. This is a mess. How smashy. Smashy's actually fine. Not bleeding out, just bruised. Ego he heavily bruised by that scythe, no doubt. Open the door! Good God! These people are morons! Brainy, get down here. Okay. This is fine. This is fine. This is totally fine. We've got to kill a Lancer and a Pintman. Why are they sending mechanoids at this point of the game? Why have they done this? Nobody's gonna die here. I promise you. Oh! Nobody's gonna die here. Nobody will die here. Otherwise, I gotta rename the series. Oh, God, please don't make me do a new logo for it. Bastard! We're done. We're safe. We're free. Who's gonna die? Smash is fine. Green is not fine. Bastard shit is dying. Bigot fella's okay. Um, who's our best doctor? We don't really have any. Uh, Brainy. Self tend. Oh my god, is he gonna is he gonna fall over before he can finish that off? Go. Uh, you tend. I, it doesn't really matter who you tend. You've got to tend someone, right? You tend green. This is a nightmare. This is a nightmare. Si no, 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 no. Tend without medicine. No, 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 no. Tend without medicine. You're going to fall over if you don't. Use your brain, brainy. Oh shit, I don't think it. 
I don't think it's gonna matter either way. Oh god. Okay. Um This is gonna take a little juggling. Green is actually fine now. Crafty tend Brainy instead, because Brainy's gonna take too long to tend himself. How are you doing? Bastard shit still bleeding out in five. What a mess! What what the hell? why is the difficulty shot off? What do you mean shot off? An arm. Oh, <laughs> Hold on. Okay, limb count. How are you looking? Smashy was stabbed in the heart by a scyther, but is actually doing surprisingly well. Also almost lost a liver. You don't need a liver. Brainy is fine, except for the fact that he's been shot in the neck and he lost an arm. But other than that, you're doing okay. Oh, God. Spine destroyed. That's a real problem. That's a real problem. Uh, oh, my God. Bastard lost a leg. One mechanoid raid has changed everything. Oh my god. We've, we've, we've effectively lost a dwarf. Green is just now out. Okay, so you're fine. Go lie down. You're fine. Go lie down. How are you looking? You're doing okay. Brainy is actually fine. You're fine. Someone pick Green up because he can't pick himself up anymore. Everybody just needs to go rest and get properly tended. This is a nightmare. This is a nightmare situation. Yeah, you know what? Keep self tech Rescue Smashy and patch everybody up. Crafty needs somewhat urgent tending, given these bleeding. Brainy, go tend Crafty first. What a state. Okay, um, let's get you, given how much medicine we've looted now, let's get you carrying three medicine. Um, Bigot is down. When's Bigot getting back up? Because Bigot, you're our doctor. Um, the fucking dryads. The dryad. Why would the dryads do this? We'd have a competent dog server, was it, for them jumping out of the goddamn trees? Hey, so I heard you kids like bionics. <laughs> I think what we're going to have to do then is come up with some sort of industry where we can make some money and get an orbital trade beacon set up because they're the only people we're going to be able to trade with currently, right? Okay, okay, green's good. Just Smashy left to go. I presume that's where you're going now. Consuming simple meal. I'd rather you tend to Smashy. If we get another raid that turns at this point, we're fighting it with four people. Which is not okay. Did we rebuild the wall? We did. Oh my god, look at that corpse stink. Ooh. Well, that's good. The stinky tunnel is actually working perfectly fine. It probably won't be long enough currently to, to inflict any sort of relevant corpse stink. You know, we're not fine unless we brick this back up. Otherwise, we'd, we're probably in a lot of trouble. Um... Snow White, you're okay at building, right? Yeah, you're not terrible. Uh, do me a favor. Oh, come on. Okay, oh, you know what? They can't get through that. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, well done, Crafty. Well done, Snow. Okay, defenses are back up, or at least as good as they're going to get for a while. We've lost the majority of our power grid. In fact, it's completely cut all of our power off, right? Nothing. God damn it. Okay, um... Well, look, let's get rid of these, uh, get rid of these turbines. I think we've, we put the focus on the geothermal generator instead. I think that's a, a better play. Man, this suddenly ramped up hard, didn't it? <laughs> <laughs> We've come from pathetic rays yesterday to, oh, suddenly half the limbs for everybody are missing. Big news, because Bigger can walk again. Putting me back down to moderate bad hygiene. Okay, that's fine. You'll, you'll get over it. You need a little water, too. People do need that. What? A dinosaur just came in and bit him on the neck. My brother in Christ, what are you doing in here? This is, this is private property. Someone shoot that lizard. What is wrong with you? You can't just come in here and bite my doctor on the neck that I was just celebrating getting back up. <laughs> what a nightmare. Oh, because they blew a hole. Okay. Yep, that's fine. That's another thing to patch up. Why can't I? We can't build on plumbing or power conduits, which is very frustrating when you're trying to build a sizable base. Just won't let you slap them down. I guess it's probably just specifically the limestone walls. Very annoying. Holy shit, it does work like tox gas. Look, it's totally filled up the stinky tunnel, and now it's also filling in the, the traps, too. We've got to be careful we don't accidentally flood our own base with stink, but that's crazy. That's good to know, though. So it does mean if we expand the tunnel out, not that I'm going to right now because we've got bigger fish to fry, but if we did expand that out further, it would the, 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 the rot would emanate down here, too. We'd probably be up to, like, roughly here, given that we've got a good five or six squares overflow outside of where this wall will be. That's amazing. The plan still could work. We need a lot of corpses, and obviously it would only work for kind of five or so days at a time. All right, I've decided that we're not going to build it into a natural rock face because of all the very angry dryads. Oh, you friendly... They're just friendly little arrow fleets. Don't panic. Ah! That's 
Seems dangerous. Oh my god, these dryads suck. <laughs> it's perfect. Oh, bigot, bigot, bigot. Just self-tend. Why did you not have medicine in your backpack? Did you not? Uh, uh, what, what about the bit where I said always carry medicine, you freaking idiot? This is why. Oh, because we've only got glitter world or herbal medicine. Ah, fair enough. I will let you off for now. Um, keep the glitter world. Yeah, to be fair, or with all the injuries being twice as impactful as regular injuries, I think that's reasonable. There you go. You're fine. You're okay. Oh, I'm so on edge. <laughs> I've got to be so careful about every tree now. Ah, those boomer drives, I'm glad, don't explode. Because that would have been a, um, that would have been a real mess. Slow and ineffective at work or combat. So we got, we got very lucky with that one. It could have been, I, I don't know, an awakened Chlora Dryad, which would have subsequently ripped Bigot to pieces. Now, because the mechanoids have cut off the power grid, we can't get any more iron because we can't go back underground. So this lovely brand new high-tech machinery I've built, gone. Straight in the bin so that we can use the steel. Oh, smashing, I'm sorry. So that we can use the steel to build the geothermal generator. This is amazing. <laughs> they really, really ruined everything. Don't be a raid. What are you doing? Oh, come on. Wait, the recyclers? Is that... Is that war caskets, though? Hello. Give me the Dryad's number one fan. Um, it is the war casket faction, isn't it? But I feel like we're, we're too early in the game. They haven't got enough raid points to... Uh, to send war caskets yet, fortunately. Instead, they've just sent a bloody siege. Um... Dr. Bigger, take that energy precision rifle and do what you do best, my friend. I would say, what are they going to shoot? We haven't got anything valuable outside, but probably my brand new, very shiny geothermal generator. Crafty, get that sorted. Go home. I've set up an emergency area because I'm very big brain so that we can still get some work done without going oh, too crazy. But they hit by lightning. Ooh. Yes, we have the dwarf gods on our side now. Why did why, why you not send a mortar? They didn't send a mortar? <laughs> Some siege this is. Wow. Oh! Shit. That was faster than I expected. Holy crap. Um. Oh, my God. Okay. He hasn't got running gun on. Deploy the tox pack. And we'll just... We'll, we'll just crop dust them as we run away. And hope that we can get some damage in there. That's not going to hurt Bigger, is it? No, because he's outrunning it. Oh, my God. T turn the tox pack off. Turn the tox pack off. Turn the tox pack off. Bigger, 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 bigger. Are we good? I think we're fine. I think we're fine. What What does that say? Sorry. What? That says tox ass. <laughs> I genuinely thought he was going to bring that tox pack back over to our people. I didn't realize they lasted quite that long. Yes, we've tox gassed them. Now we long rot them. Uh, it works perfectly. The stinky tunnel once again saves the day. No. Oh. You could have retreated the other way and not taken out another couple of traps, but that's all right. Jimmy the Dryad's number one fan. Here we go. Makes sense why they're trying to defend nature like this. Get in the squad. Oh, look, the whole team can actually see them now with the guns that we've got. So we've got some really nice upgrades. What is that? Biocoded energy rifle. Bollocks. Ooh, junkers are fleeing. Oh, man, that wasn't nearly as bad as I thought. Hey, nice work, Bigger. And that damage is from your last... Did get hit by toxic buildup, though? But he should be all right. Don't know if that was a good use of that tox pack, but... You know what? We survived, and that's good enough for me. I'm here for your clothes. Land it over. Give me all of these. Did we get the... We got the generator online, right? So in theory... Uh, yeah! Grid X is 30... Wait. Was it not working? Ah, right. Gotcha. Well, that's easy enough. Let's set a backup circuit, too. Body armor. Thank you, thank you. And then from you, we've got some... Oh! Well, it was a flop hat. I don't really care that much. Very nice. Not some massively good stuff. Us <laughs> hard jackets, sure. This is a very bizarre question. Is that the same Joseph Stalin from earlier? I don't entirely remember. That was the one I said I was going to put the helmet up their ass. Ooh, that was a bolt action rifle. I genuinely thought that was a, like a charge rifle, or like a charge sniper or something. And the power's back on. What's the grid excess? 1,200 watts. And that's going to be pretty solid too. Bear in mind, we've only got a single wind turbine now. Oh, and that's basically turned off. You know what? Get rid of that. Put that in the bin. We, we, why the hell are we using green energy? We're supposed to be defiling the landscape. Uh, to be fair, we don't need the ENIAC right now desperately. It, it boosts research speed by like 25%, but we haven't got the wattage because it's like 2,000 watts or something crazy like that to do it. So you know what? Let's just stick with what we've got. We're about to get biofuel refining, and that's going to let us build flamethrowers, and that's going to be a complete game changer. 
Uh, except for the mechanoids, you know, the things we're actually struggling with. Ooh, sterile materials. Opponent structure gives us embrasures. Ah. Are we gonna are we gonna go with the embrasures though? That's the question. What is this? Electromagnetic signal decoy. Diverts raids from surrounding colonies to its location. What on earth is that? Hello. Uh, energy signal decay. Oh my god. Wait, so we can maybe deflect a few raids? Oh, these sound fun. Um, oh, no, they draw raids over to them, don't they? I think so. That's cool. Um, I, I don't know what to go for here. I, I guess we'll go with permanent structures, see how these embrasures do. Honestly, embrasures aren't the problem right now, right? Because, I mean, these defenses have, have more that we haven't been hit. I don't think once behind these barricades. Very basic stuff. The real problem is just people going through the bloody wall. I'll, re I'll redo this. I'll redo the entrance so that we've got like another line of embrasures, I suppose, across here as a fallback in case we get mechanoids happening like that again. Or this room I was going to turn into a dedicated recreation room we could use as a defensive emplacement. Actually, that might be a better idea still. We build a, a, a big old wall of embrasures across there. We just hold the doors open and bait them in if we can't hold the front line. That might be a good idea. That way, even if this is overwhelmed, we can still fall back. Ooh, you know what? Move the fish tank. This idea has won me over. Damn it. Well, never mind. Curse chess. There you go. Perfect. <laughs> so green being out of the fight is going to set back our research massively. Not to mention we're going to have to move someone else to focus on plants as well. Oh, Bigot's still on it, though, and Bigot doesn't really have a backup job. Okay, that's that's fine for the time being. It's going to mean that we can't really set up a hydroponics floor or anything. Um, Smashy, how are you doing? You're just bed resting. Let's get you down a floor and start... Let's start grabbing some resources. I'll have to set up another shelf like we had before. Oh, a positive thing! Colonists are gathering to celebrate what's left of Snow White and what's left of Crafty's marriage. No, their marriage is fine. It's a strong and... Very sturdy marriage. Like many dwarven marriages are. It's just them that's not strong and sturdy. In fact, Snow White... Oh, she's missing a middle finger. Uh, what about Crafty? You're missing an eye? That's fine. It's the guests that are hideous and mangled. Poor Green. We should have had it in his bedroom. This makes me feel very weird. This makes me feel very, very odd indeed. This is a weird marriage. I mean, I wish them all the happiness in the world, but then... Oh, A, they're not going to get it. I mean, especially the next time mechanoids turn up. B, this is... <laughs> it's horrible. It's disgusting. Oh, it saves us a bedroom, though. Hey, uh, bastard, unknown, brainy, smashy, bigot, snow, and crafty. There you go. In this room, we could just throw in some sterile materials, turn it into a hospital. Right at the very back of the base. You know, the convenient place for hospitals to be. And now you can have a fun party in an empty room made out of stone. I'm just glad it wasn't all totally doom and gloom today. Because besides the geothermal generator, what have I got to show for it? N nothing. Only bad things have occurred. Yeah, totally all not doom and gloom. Meanwhile, a shower of meteors is striking the local area filled with bugs. Because if insects themselves weren't bad enough, they're falling to earth in freaking meteors. Oh my god. Okay, I mean, that's not... That's not unbearable, I suppose. A megapede. We've got a few mega scarabs. They're completely unaffected by the stinky tunnel. Now, for God's sake, now the recyclers want money from me? No! No! <laughs> <laughs> please, please, I just, just want to build a flame for her. What are you doing there? You're attacking the bear trap. Why? It's already gone off. Because you saw it kill your friend. You're like, oh, bear trap must be bad then. That's the enemy, you moron. Where are all the people? Oh, that is all the people. Oh, shit. Uh, oh, <laughs> I left Smash in the mine. <laughs> I was gonna say, that doesn't make sense. Hold on, there's only five people there. Smashy, come on. Go lie down. Go on, take a break. That's on me. That's my fault. Totally forgot about you. It's all the bloody bear traps destroyed then, isn't it? Thank you for that. Why are they smashing them? Are they just like angry at the bloody bear trap? Then where are you going? Fleeing? Okay, we're gonna have to actively go outside and hunt the last two bugs down. Because they apparently just do not give a shit. And now they're turning around. Oh, for God's sake. Why have you got to make my life so unbearably difficult? This is... Stop! This is without a shadow of a doubt the hardest job in the world. The hardest. Every day is a nightmare. An unending nightmare. Okay. I think it's over. <laughs> For fuck's sake. Ah. Oh, God, I hate these people. Oh, no, I don't. Oh, no, yes, I do. 
Yes, I do. Dwar the dwarfs are fine. I like the dwarfs. I hate everybody else on this planet. I hate them. What the hell is that little fella? The turtle forgot his shell. It's a siege. Someone's going to be going to send Bigger out there to trundle out and get shot. Let me guess. You're going to forget. Oh, no. They've actually sent materials to build more self. Oh, shit. What is that? Fortified artillery. No, 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 no. Okay. This time they've, they've figured it out. They figured it out after their last couple of failed attempts. Bigger. Oh, God. You're going to have to get closer. Shit. Is he going to be able to outrun them, though, when it all goes tits up? Well, this is going to be interesting. No! He was too slow. They've got fortified artillery positions loaded with napalm. Why did it get so difficult so fast? Huh? Why did you napalm my crops like that? This is a nightmare situation. What are you firing at with that one? Are you trying to shoot bigger with artillery? Bloody hell. Uh, right. This is a mess. What, what about the fire? Well, the fire will spread into the trees and it will take out the dryer. It will wake a load of dryads up. Oh, shit. Have you hit anyone yet? What the hell are you doing? I mean, luckily, we live in a mountain, so they really they really can't do shit. They really just cannot do anything besides burn down the mushrooms. Go, bigger, go home. Just just go home. Just leave them to it. Oh! Just leave them to it. Let them live their life. No. 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 Oh, they lit fire to the stinky tunnel. That's the only thing I'm going to be proud of. I hate it here. Do you have any other long-range weapons? I did save another precision rifle. I think we take our two best shots. Uh, they're all actually pretty good. Um, Brainy, come take this rifle. Let's send you and Bigger out there just to, just to give them a few more hits, I suppose. What the hell choice have we got? I think we move entirely into the mountain. The second I get hydroponics, that's it. We're gonna, we're gonna be siege-proof. Please just hit one of them. Just hit something, for Christ's sake. This is ridiculous. I want to shoot the artillery because I want the artillery. That's coming home with me. A shoot his. Ooh! Go. Run, run. Stop running and gunning. Stop running and gunning. Don't do that. Where is... Why are you running and gunning? It's disabled. What are you doing? Weird ass man. Weird ass man. Okay, uh, draft up. You guys need to run like hell. Oh my God, they might actually outrun them. Holy crap. Uh, sorry, are these trees being on fire when they get destroyed? Is that going to summon more dryads? Granted, they'll probably also immediately be on fire, so we'll probably be fine. My god, we might have got away with another siege. <laughs> Holy shit. I'm moving inside this mountain. I hate it out here. Oh, they rebuilt the titanium traps, though. Well, that's pretty good. Well, that was um one of the worst experiences of my life. Oh, they're gone. They're, they're done now. Thank you. Free artillery, though. Hey, I really can't complain. These are mine now. This is my napalm. Embrasures. Embrasures. Am I gonna? Am I going all in on the embrasures? I wasn't even sure if I wanted to use embrasures this time around because they're a little cheesy. But holy shit, we've made absolutely no progress today. Um, oh god, machine gun bunker. I like all those words. Or we could get sunglasses. Oh, what a hard choice. Maybe I love embrasures. Maybe we embrace embrasures. Get rid of this crap. We can build it out of concrete. This is a great idea. Uh, where are they? Security, right? Surely they've got to be in security. Embrasures, 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 embrasures. They're not here. Structure, embrasures. Uh, yes. It's, uh, it's non-stop. It is non-stop. On the plus side, hey, internal embrasures. This looks nice, right? We got somewhere to fall back to the outside. Nope. No, they didn't. That one was exterior. Wait, exterior walls? How, was How did that even happen? No, that's the wrong kind. How has that even happened? I just drew a line. Why? Well, I don't understand. Good. Now we get to fight all these people without any fucking cover. It's good. It's really great. Just cluster together. They'll never hit you if you do that. Actually, one group's already fleeing. Is there something out there fighting them? What are they? Oh my god, they're going to go smash the artillery? I don't understand what they're doing out there. They're just kind of pissing around. No, that's Grove Guardians. I thought they were fleeing from Dryads. What are they doing out there? Using a firebomb on chromium something something. On the on the artillery, you're gonna firebomb my artillery. Oh, you shithead. That is unbelievable cruelty. I knew I shouldn't have claimed those. My god, we can't even we can't even extinguish it because it's in the real. It's in the it's in the middle of the What if we uninstall it? Just uninstall the bloody thing. Uh Brainy, just just take it apart. Ah! I don't know if that's really helped. There you go. Oh! I I can't win. Please. Oh my god, I can't put the fucking fire out! No, no, stop that. And then oh, the room's also superheating because it counts indoors. This is ridiculous. This is absolutely ridiculous. Go mine the limestone. Nah, it's fucking gone. We've lost it, haven't we? 
I, I physically cannot get to it faster than it can burn. But uh, extinguish it. Nah. I, it's, I'm, I, I, I hate, I hate, I hate this. This, this is awful. Yeah, yeah, I think we're done here. I think that's the end. Thank you for joining me. Uh, Snow White died on the way to our home planet. Uh, it's all sorted. Problem solved. Come back tomorrow for a new series. Thank you, Emu Veteran of the Great War, Nexus, Alex Warren, Master Mary Malice, Feather Blacker, Banjo Slurper, Salt Fox, Talia, Acolyte of Arcadius, R9971230, Tiny Bagel, Todd Howard, Chief Werewolf, 91 Gearhead, RFL Tail, Mert Skirt, Speedy, Mike Doherty, Killer Starling 6, Jimmy the Dryad's number one fan, Immense Orb, Roan Cuddles, Dart, Pika Pyre, I Am Druids, Josh Lunt, Dead Degrees, and Matthew Capon for joining me on this adventure. This adventure that may be coming to a very quick end. Thank you to Wargaming Dad, Chase T. Hopper, Nira Goopin, Salakin J, Diana Plant, Kaiser, Neron, Tiberian Fest, Liam Frostic, Lassero, Gavin, Sam S, Jimmy Bailey, Carpsy, K Tech, Tom, Weiderman, Elizabeth Lagrosse, Infectious, Fantastica, Dodger, Benny Goodman, Solar Lupus, Draw to the Mighty, Maliana, Romo DK, James Myers, Lively Life, Daniel Price, and Duke. Thank you. And finally, tomorrow. I'll see you all then, I presume. I don't know if I've got the mental fortitude for this one. Holy shit.